Well, good day, farmers. Welcome back to Farm Sim Saturday. Uh, so mods are rolling out really fast for this game. Uh, I haven't really got into a whole lot yet. I did find a couple here, though. Um, this is all new to me. <laughs> uh, so we've got a couple of uh, fill stations, and I got a, this is a cell point, which was kind of neat. Um, uh, fill stations as in fertilizer and seed. I believe that one is. They were foreign language to me, so. But anyways, let's load up our uh, game one. There we are. Yeah, so uh, we got a pine tree too. It looked really cool, so I just found that. Got that. Um, cell point. So you can put it down. Ooh, 150%. I didn't know that. You can put it down anywhere. I guess sell anything at it, which is kind of cool. And a uh, fill station and a fertilizer station. So that's pretty good. But anyways, let's fire this up. And we're ready to go here. Uh, we've got a little bit of money left over. And uh, I think I want to spend it on a little bit bigger field. Um, I've got pretty good equipment now, I think, other than a... Well, that combine's not bad. And we've got that new combine, too. That's right. So, yeah, I think I'd like to buy a little something. I uh, just uh, want to see what, what was we were... Oh, yeah, so we planted oats. On these fields we made bigger. Wow. I'm looking and thinking potentially a buy-in 12. And eventually move and farm over there. 12, 6, and then 13 eventually. Um, 12, mm, it's probably a lot of money. We've got 1 point, I think 1.3 left. So, that one is 856,000 and 400 and, oh, we get a little bit extra down there too, 438. So, maybe that one. Uh, I'm going to think about it though. Uh, but yeah, we've got, um here again. Um, canola, that's right, canola in this one. 12 would be a really good canola field. Look at the size of 8 though. Holy cow. So let's just go over to our two fields here. Um, I'm probably sh pretty sure I got something better I could drive. <laughs> drive this over and up on the hill. I just want to do a little comparison. Uh, let's just get up the top of the hill here as best we can to the top of the hill here. So this field, of course, you know, we made uh, from three fields and made it a lot bigger, as you know. You saw the pl if you saw the plowing special, you'd know what we did there, so. Okay. Nice tractor. So, okay, so that is the size of this field. It's not bad. It's a good size, uh, but now if we look at 12, we're probably 1, 2, 3 and a bit the size of that, so that's pretty big. It's a pretty big field. Hmm. Now, another, uh, another thing I, I had a... Uh, Sort of a question, I guess, on these fields are all going squarely this way, squarely this way, squarely this way, squarely this way. These ones are kind of going squarely that way. I wonder how they track the, the helpers, because I'm definitely going to need helpers on that field. Holy jumping, that's a big field. That 8 is just huge. 1.2, I could buy that. I could buy that. <laughs> Central Grain Elevator, too. That would be all right. Um, Central Grain Elevator. Pretty good money. Look at the sunflowers right now. Woo, mama! Too bad I don't have any. Or a cedar to plant that. Oh, boy. Corn's pretty good at that Central Grain Elevator, too. Um, boy, that is a, a huge field, though. My goodness. 
I mean, this one's decent size for the stuff we got. This one would be a lot of work. I'd probably need two combines going in there at least. This one, you'd probably need one combine, two combine, maybe three combines going in there for harvest time. Holy shnikes, that's huge. But we'll think about 12 maybe after today. After our harvest today. So, yeah, okay. So we're going to get... Um, this guy would be good for canola. We'll get him ready. I should juice uh, the time up here a little bit. Um, while we're kind of waiting for this to, to take off here, we'll, we'll get these guys into place. Backup uh, beeper alarms on this. That's interesting. Okay. And our other combine. There he is. I like this machine. It's so cool. And this guy will put on oats. Uh, oops, she's getting dark. Really don't like how they did their dark in this one. It was a lot more gradual and nicer in the other game. It's just it's like someone's turning off lights in a factory. <laughs> like... Oh, the lights are almost out. Good thing I got lights on my combine. Still can't see where I'm going, though. So this guy should gobble up this field pretty fast. We'll be able to tell a little better when, uh, when he's actually got her done. Um, I'm just thinking this is a pretty big machine. It's pretty awesome. I really think I want to get that field because if we filled that with canola, boy, we'd do good. At least, you know what, I haven't really checked prices too closely. Canola does pay pretty good still, I would presume. Uh, that's, I think, canola there. Yeah, that's... Actually, you know what? No, I'm not 100% sure. Canola. Yeah, the one with looks like cotton on a stick. Uh, so cotton on a stick. Yeah, so... Canola pays pretty good. Um, sunflower and soybeans pay really good, though, at that grain elevator. So if we got this field, it's not too far of a drive over there. So, okay. Well, we'll think about that. Um, we got our sweet truck here. And, uh, okay, okay, there's our super awesome plow, which will come really handy for that other field. And our JD. Now, something I think I want to buy, although I probably don't need it yet, is a green tank trailer, um, if you know what I mean. Uh, okay, now, now, uh should be in here. Uh, it's like the field bin trail. These auger wagons, that's it. Just uh, for when we get big time serious here, we can use that to uh, instead of having to drive the big truck in the field, because normally you'd park the truck on the side and then get one of these and take it over. But they're not too expensive. Ooh, that one's cool. 7,000. Wow, that goes up a lot. Let's have a look at that thing. Wow, we has got tracks on it and everything. That is, like, really cool. I think both of our combines should be able to dump into that. Boy, that thing's awesome. Compared to, say, this guy, which is pretty big still. I don't know. I'm really looking to get this. What is this? Tires? Oh, you can put a higher. So does that make it hold more? Oh, it does too. I see. Okay, 46,000. Thing is, I don't know what my... Uh, 46,000. That's not uh, for that much more money. I guess it holds a little more. Oh, you can change the tracks to this too. 
crawler tracks. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that unit. That'd be lots. 37,000. Holy jeez. Um, I don't think my combine holds that much. 37,000. Hmm. What's the difference? 30. So it's only 7,000 more. You gotta look at this too, though. It needs a lot of horsepower to pull that. It's 400 horse to pull that one. So I think actually I'm gonna go for this one for the price difference. Pfft. I think we're gonna do this one. Hmm. Is that worth three grand for big tires like that? Love the bounce. Wing, wing, wing. Wing, wing, wing. Let's get it up a bit higher. I think we'll go with that. Okay, so we'll buy that. Okay. Woo, it's dark out here. We'll go to the store. Pick that up. Fifty in the morning, so she's getting a little brighter out. There, someone's turning the lights on in the factory again, in the warehouse. <laughs> That's funny. So if we get that field, well, also I think. Well, yeah, we'll be a little closer to the shop. That'd be nice. But kind of thinking we'll move farm over there. I uh, don't know if I'll even farm over here unless I do... Uh, I got our norm first farm, right? Unless I do... Uh, oh, like cattle or something. Over there. Or uh, I don't know whether I'm quite ready yet to get into cattle. I like the the field work and stuff, but uh, one of these days we'll get into cattle. That thing looks huge behind this tractor, and this is a fairly beefy tractor. Let's turn the time down there. I Probably grown by now, sprouted by now, but uh, I don't know. Looks like Buddy fixed his garbage can. That's good. Boy, these things are almost too wide for these roads. These roads are tiny. Look at the wheels in the back of this. They just barely fit there from... Yeah, I <laughs> knocked signs over. So it's not really meant to, to be on a road like this small, I guess. But uh, anyways... So we'll get back here and... See how things are looking. There's that other field there. That's pretty small, though. Looks like it needs a bit more sprouting. Yeah, it's not quite ready yet. Okay, well, we'll get her sprouting, and uh, we'll be back in a moment. Oh yeah, while we're kind of waiting here, uh, let's have a look at these mods that I picked up. Oh uh, no, is there somewhere special I need to go for that? Or placeables. Um, don't know if it's in here or not. Nope. Those are in-game ones. Miscellaneous. There we go. So, this is a sell point. For absolutely everything, <laughs> the whole thing, and a fill station. And these are two fill stations too. I'm not sure. Renting it for a dollar or three hundred thousand to buy—that's enough. Ooh -wee. Um. Okay. Now where farmhouses? 
decorations. It could be there's a pine tree. Let's spend three hundred dollars for a pine tree. Okay, I don't know what that means. Where the heck am I? Well, that's weird. It's like crashed my game or something. That's not good. All right, deleted pine tree. <laughs> <laughs> it froze up my game or something. I don't know what was going on there, but uh, something was definitely not happy with it, so we got rid of it. Uh, but anyways, uh, what else we got here? Uh, I wouldn't mind trying that cell point, but I don't really want to try it, if you know what I mean. So fertilizer fill station. University... 10,000 per day. I don't price it. So they want, wow. I was going buy that for 300 grand, but I don't want to burn that up on that right now. So 10 grand for a fill station is not bad. How much money we got? We got 1.3. And if we choose to buy this 12, we're going to need, uh, oh, we got a bit of money to, to, to mess with here. So, okay, so. Let's see if this one messes things up. Fill station. So pretty much go pretty much anywhere. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much anywhere. Well, it makes sense to go here, but collides with an object. Way out there, though. I don't know if I want to way out there. Uh, I'll put it up here. That'd be perfect. Ah, boy. I don't remember how to turn. There we go. To turn things here. I don't want to go there. And he's apparently a pile of room or something. There. Oh, that's not where I wanted it to go, but that's okay. Let's uh, grab our sewing machine here and see if it works. I believe this thing will be out of... Whoops! Yeah, it needs a bit of... Sub, uh, look, I say sugar. <laughs> He's a bit of fertilizer, so we'll see what happens here. If it works, hopefully it works. If it doesn't, well, that's not good either. Oh, you know what? I bet you it doesn't work just on sewing machines. You probably actually have to have a fertilizer spreader. Oh, there we go. I said open the fella up. It's not too bad, I guess. That'll work. Pretty happy with that. Um, so... I'm not, no, I'm not too sure if I'm one million percent committed to buying. These look pretty good, actually. Uh, to buy in that field today, I'm really thinking of it. Well, that would mean I'm going to have to start transferring stuff over after we do this. Ah, this one. Now, my question is, what's in that? It looks like... looks like barley in it right now, so that might be a good time to buy that. What's barley paying right now? Barley. Barley. Barley's not paying a whole lot right now, so... Um, you know what? Let's just bite her. Let's bite her. Oh, okay, we, we own her. We own her. Just, to, just for fun, what's this other field worth? Uh, 438. I could just buy that one, too. I know we got no money. 
No money. <laughs> we got no money. We've got $553 to our name. Oh, but there's our fields already. But we do have quite a bit of stuff to take in. Which is going to be good. And uh, our oats are ready. And uh, got a guy in the canola there. We'll get this going. Ooh, that hill is crazy there. Should be able to get straw out of this too, but I'm not going to worry about that straw today. Uh, ooh, that's a little jumpy there. Interesting. Alright, uh, I want to look at... That looks pretty good. I want to look at this trailer on the big truck here. I, th I don't... I don't know whether it's... It is two compartments. You know what? That is really cool. So we've got two different crops. I believe we should... Should be able to take two different crops to market. That's really cool if we can. I'd be really happy with that because, you know, we could put the oats on one side and the uh, canola on the other. So this should have a spout feller to go up. As it does for when we're dumping into the big trailer here. Don't think, oh yeah, we can adjust that too, that's good. Nice. Draw up adjusting. Alright, probably neither one of them are ready yet, but uh, I'm ready. I think you guys are maybe right. I'm going to have to turn this down to the 1080p, though. It's just a little bit chunky. Just acting a little chunky. Maybe try that for next week. These wheels are backwards on this grain. Are they? Yes, they are. The tractor's good, but these ones are backwards. <laughs> That's interesting. I wonder why they do that. There must be something for it about it. Huh. I don't know. That's interesting. didn't take very long. I guess maybe oats don't build up fast, I don't know. But, uh, um, let's see, uh, it's got a huge tank on it too, though, so he's doing pretty good. Um, now, while we're waiting, I guess, on them, maybe I will start running some stuff down there because I don't think I'm going to replant back here again. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to run stuff down now. How do I get there? <laughs> I'm lost. So, uh, actually, I want to look at this map. So if we go right at the road here, just kind of keep following it straight. Big intersection. Bang, bang, we're done. Okay, so right at this road... And it's a little curly, but um, we'll get there. Actually, you know what? 
Ah, I got a fair bit of seed in there now. If I have to, I can run back over and get it. This is like a single lane road here. Hopefully nobody's coming down. Oh, come on, baby. Don't stall up on the hill here on me. Doesn't seem like I'm going the right way, but I was right at the road and just keep going straight. I guess it's a field way up over there. Man, these are going to be big fields. Oh, man, we're going to have to score some big money here so we can uh, get some bigger equipment here to help us out. Oh, man, we got over there just in time. I didn't even see him coming. What happens if I leave it parked in the Leave it parked in the uh, in the tracks. I wonder what happens. <laughs> He'd wreck my tractor, or, or what would be going on there? Okay, is this the uh, big intersection here? It is. So our field is just to our right, just a bit over here. That's good. We got a fair bit of room here to set up. You know some stuff so that's that'll work um, okay that is definitely not going to be a big enough uh, cultivator so we're not going to worry too much about that uh, that lime trailer will have to go over if this little fella will pull that I kind of doubt it Might pull it. No point just having that little trailer anymore, I don't believe. Oh, why did he miss a whole bunch there? Wait a minute, we better see what's going on here. Huh. Well, that's interesting. I wonder why he did that. Well, we'll let him finish up there. I guess we'll keep running this over. So we're going to need, uh, oh, this thing's almost out of line. That's right. I wonder, just for fun, I haven't really got enough. No, there's no point doing it now, I guess. Actually, I just want to see if it does do it, though. I want to go back to this this thing here and see if it'll fill a line up for us out of this filling station. It might. I'm not sure if it handles that, though. I'm thinking probably no. Fertilizer. Oh, it does, but it ran me out of money too fast. Okay, well, that's good to know. Although, I think that just put actual fertilizer it did in, into me here, so that's not good. Um, okay, not a big deal. Oh, you know what I just did there? I pressed I. Yep, and there's my fertilizer sitting over there now. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I want to close the top. Okay, now we can start making our way over with this. Although... Boy, he's really messing up in that field. Boy, oh boy, we're going to have some mess to clean up when we get back. Now, I'm kind of thinking that this isn't a full trailer, of course. Nothing hardly at all in it, but... Boy, I think he's going to have a hard time getting up this hill. 
Something is telling me. We're holding steady at the maximum of 25 kilometers right now. Good old 25 kilometers. Still holding. Still holding. This is the hard part here, though. If it was a full trailer, I think we'd be having problems. So that thing doesn't do lines, so I guess whenever we have to lime the fields... Oh man, this is going to take a lot of lime. This big field, holy cow, hopefully it doesn't have to do it too often. I mean, this thing holds a lot, but, man, it sure seems to blow through it fast. <laughs> Alper F has completed their task. Actually, you know what? He pulled up that hill pretty good. That actually was really good. Compared to Buddy pulling up that uh, seeding machine there, sewing machine, man, that was horrible. This guy pretty much held his own the whole way. All right, Buddy else is there is nearly full, so. Boy, where did the combine end up? It was way down there. Wow, he did a horrible job here. This would maybe be good for a horse farm. That's my thinking. Horse farm. So we'll have to hook the uh, trailer back up. Take the header over on this thing. Get this guy working in that field over there and get that barley off. It's not a very fast machine though, but I guess I am going uphill. Yeah, he pretty much left a one actual width here of stuff he didn't pick up. I don't know why. He doesn't maybe like the join in the field. I don't know. Now, this works, I mean, pretty good keeping on line, on track. I'm really wondering what's going to happen in this other field now. I wonder if he's going to have to go ziggy zag, or is he going to track perfectly good, or... What's going to be the score there? I'm not too sure. So this we should be able to dump right in the truck. From here. Okay, I'm going to send him down there because I got it. Oh, he said I was in his way, but... Somehow he got squeaked past. But he said he was almost full, too. He's still going. What are you doing there, bud? Well, uh, let's tab into him and see what his number's at. Oh, he's almost full. Should be able to dump into this cart, no problem. Here's hoping. If I didn't crash into him and make a big mess, that'd be perfect. Oh yeah, we're... 
good. Oh, you know what? I got... I got some uh, boots in here right now. Totally forgot about that. Boy, oh boy, these things aren't uh, as easy as you would think. It's got a weird angle on it here, so it makes it difficult to get her lined up. There we go. Okay. Now we can go dump this guy out, keep him working. And I'm not too sure why this guy <laughs> ended up way over there. That's kind of <laughs> odd, but uh, all right, bud. Thanks for your help. Oh, that is pretty cool. We can put... Uh... Ah, crap. You know what I did wrong there? You guys probably caught that, too. I should have put it in the, in the front one here, but uh, it's all right, I guess. What I can do is I'll just dump this in here. And go and dump it in my silo there. My mistake. That's all right. We can fix that after. All right, so we're going to load this header back onto this trailer. Wow, that snapped around fast. All right, we are loaded and ready to go. We'll head over with that in a moment. I want to just dump out. Oh, I got a stupid trailer in the way here right now too, don't we? That's okay. We'll push him out of the way. Maybe. There we go. It's a pretty nice trailer. So it doesn't back up like you would think. <laughs> All right, so how's he making out? Now we're in his way. Oh, we didn't get much of that after all that. All right, let's go over and see. This will go in the other one. That's what my initial plan was. There we go. That is kind of cool, I must say. All right, so this can go over too. We'll just leave her hooked all up right now. Mm. 
We need people driving for us, because that's got to go for two. This will just wait till he's done and hopefully go dump. Well, either in the thing over there or dump it in the whatchamacallit guy there. So, uh, This guy, I guess, can go over. We can take him over too. Now, is that folded? It's got to be the other way to fold it. Old plow, that's what we want. Alright, well, that guy's still working. I'll start hauling some stuff over. I guess I should have waited until that was fully over, but uh, we're good. We're definitely going to need this guy, and I have to buy some sort of cultivator, I guess, too, although we don't really need one, but we should have something to cultivate after over here, too. Uh, don't know whether we're going to get into this field too much today, though. We might save that for next week. By the time we get everything brought over and kind of set up, and we're not going to probably have a whole lot of time for tackle on those two big fields, so we'll have to do that uh, probably next week. High, like the hitch is really high, but I guess that's what it's supposed to be. Oh, I don't know if I can do this or not. <laughs> oh, let's blew the sign off. No trains coming, that's good. It's quite the little valley there, it's kind of neat. All right, I'll just leave this guy up the side here. Almost done. We've probably got enough time to drive this fella over, maybe. And there's probably a couple of things I could sell. I think I'm just going to sell them out of the menu, though. I'm not going to sell them out of the... Uh, take them to the sale place. I know you get a little bit more money for them, but I don't really think I need to be doing that. So far, we haven't met a train again here yet. Just that one time. Oh, I crashed into something there. Oh, you know what it was? That stupid... Uh, my uh, tire that was a little wider there caught... Yeah, <laughs> Caught that pole be beside or behind us. Oh man! All right, another machine over, ready to go. Oh, the cowbine. So we'll take over the combine too, I guess here. I think boots along pretty good too. And we'll get him over here and get him starting to work, maybe. Uh, we're going to tackle that today. I guess, well, uh, maybe we'll leave her till, till next week. Uh, I 
want to kind of do her all in one day kind of thing rather than multiples, you know. So no biggie. Alright. Helper B is completed. Well, sort of completed the task. He sat there for a while, I think. I don't know what he was doing, but uh, yeah. And we'll take some stuff to sell. I think we're going to try that big grain elevator down there. We haven't been to that one yet, I don't believe. So we'll take some stuff down there. And uh, probably should look at prices on things. But uh, they seem to be pretty good on pretty much everything. Oh, I can't do that at all. Sorry. <laughs> no thanks. This is a canola. It's worth a lot of money, so try to get every last seed we can. All right. That doesn't look too bad. That's a lot of work for this little guy, but uh, not too bad. I guess we'll take this thing over to probably, it's going to be kind of pathetic on that great big field, I mean, this is meant for real small stuff, so we might even just fire sale it, maybe save it, put the money towards buying something else. Too bad. All right, so everything's there. Good, good. Uh, we're right out of oats now. Good little load in there, though. He's not even dumping into it, but all right. All right, so there we go. We got some money. Let's see now, where where are we going to go here? So we got uh, oats, central grain elevator, and um, canola, yeah. So let's go to, uh, everything looks pretty good there, central grain elevator. Um, central grain, yeah, so it's just, uh, so we basically have to go straight up our field and right I guess or we could go down here lime station Ooh, you know what I gotta go that way and check that out put a cover on lime stations there that's where we can buy lime that'll be perfect because lime seems to go through fast and uh, if we can buy it there that'll be really good Flying blind through here. I don't know where the road is. <laughs> There's the tree. I crashed. So I actually got a full load of oats. That's interesting. There must have been some more back there. I never really thought I'd look at. Okay, so let's just refresh my memory blank. Yeah, we want to turn right here to the first left is the dirt road. Shh. 
should be this dirt road. And that is the lime station, I believe. So that's really handy for us. I think, anyways, I think that's what it is for. Or am I wrong? No, that was the lime station right there. I'm not too sure where we go to buy it, but... Just right out of that silo. I'll have to come try it after we get a, a bit of money here. We'll come see if we can fill up our lime, uh, our lime guy. That looks like biogas though, or something. Anyways, now that building there should be, I believe, where we're going. Sure, looks like it. sure where we go yet. Yeah, sort of look like a road. Ooh, this is going to be tight. Is my trailer hitting? Must be my trailer hitting. Oh my goodness, what's hitting now? Well, this was a good idea until I've seen this. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> got no steering. I got no steering, so you got to get her in there straight, boys. Oh, still didn't make her. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure if I'm going to like that or not. <laughs> it's too high. It's too high. Like, look at our wheels are off the ground. Like, you could do oil changes up here if you had to. I got 44 grand for that. That's not bad. sell that one. Well, I guess we'll try going in the other way. Boy, they sure didn't give me much of a... Am I not allowed to sell this here? Central Grain Elevator. I've got oats. Oats. Central grain elevator. It's oats. 1192. So do I have to... Well, that's odd, isn't it? Doesn't seem to want to let me open up the doors at all there. Well, I don't know whether I like that too much. If we go to ranch, where the heck is that? Where is the ranch? Got a lime station there, that's good. Ranch is a little further over here. I don't know why it won't let me sell that there. What, uh, am I doing something wrong, or...? That's kind of strange. A lot of oats there, but uh, for some reason won't let me sell. So I'm curious to see. Uh, oh, which way do I have to go here? Uh, we have to go right up the hill. I'm curious to see what happens if I go to this place over here now.
Oh, someone else knocked a sign over. Someone else knocked all the signs over. I didn't do it this time. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's like a real dam. Huh, and I'm almost off the road here. up there somewhere. Or is it down there? I think I should have gone. Oops. Yeah, sh Should be on my left up the hill here. So, this is a bit of a tricky place to get into everything. The roads all enter from the other, coming the other way. So I'll see if I can sneak myself around here. Ooh, that's making her work. Okay, I'm missing something. Do I have to tip side front? That's probably I should have looked in there. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back to the other place because it's worth more money, I think. There. I never even thought of looking at that. Central green. Ranch. Another hundred and. Eh, I guess it's not really worth taking it right down there. We'll just dump it here. That's it. I never even thought of that. Alright. Well, we did have a bit of trouble getting into that other place. Now, I should be able to go out here. Except it's another hairy turn to go back to where we came from. So we're going to off-road it. Oh crap, maybe not. <laughs> Oops, I hit something there. Oh, oh boy. Oh, there we go. truck flies now. So we've got some stuff still in our silo back there, I do believe. Um, oh boy. Imagine driving her down the hill there. She should have guardrails up along here. Uh, we'll save that stuff in the silo for uh, we need future money or something. Look how much money we got now. We had it. We were in the, like... I guess I gotta go this way. We were in like a uh, super bad way before there. Now we got 73 grand in the bank. Almost 70, 74 grand. All right, so we'll go. Um, so, what am I doing here? We gotta go back over one more road there. Can I get through here? I think you know I can. Should have come through here to start with, I suppose. But that's alright. So, this is a pretty big field. We might just do uh, get the combine going on one stretch here. And just to see uh, how, how big it is, because it's, I believe, quite large.
All right. Oh, there he goes again. Hello, train. I do believe it would be a good idea to have two of these going, though. Okay, so let's just look at our map here again. So this is... 12 is the bigger one. 6 is a little smaller. <gasps> Achievement unlocked! Long play! It must be 10 hours already. Holy cow. Sweet. Why does this not look right? Okay. What were these again here? Are these... It's dark brown. Oh, no! I looked at the wrong dark brown. These are actually potatoes in here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I looked at it really super fast and thought it was oats. Oh, no. Sugar beet over in these ones. That one's sunflower. This one's canola. Oh, no. I don't have equipment to do this. Potatoes. It is too. Oh, are you kidding me? They're both potatoes. Oh no. Oh, oh no. That is not good. Well, you know what? It's not it's not bad. It's going to be a crop loss, unfortunately. Because I do not have the funds right now to purchase equipment for taking potatoes out. That is a lot of work. Um, potatoes really don't fetch that much anyhow. Actually, the prices are down, down right now, so I'm not even gonna, not even gonna bat an eye at it. We're gonna run the plow through it and just destroy it all. Well, that's too bad, you know, but uh, it's not much good to us, so. Because, you know, I could, uh, could lease equipment to do it. But I would need, like, probably th three of these. And how much, it t how much is the lease on it? Initial leasing cost. Holy crap! <laughs> no, we're not doing that. I'm sorry. Goodbye, potatoes. You'll get mushed in and uh, make me feel great. So. That is just terrible. And, uh... Oh well. <laughs> so we'll go for one run here with him. Uh, I probably actually don't need to plow this, but uh, I could probably get away with just running our machine through it. But I really want to see how they seem to track through these fields. And you know what? So far, he's doing pretty darn good. See, it used to be a thing with Farm Sim, if you remember. You had to keep your field square and straight, or they would find their square and straight, and they'd just kind of do this and miss a whole bunch. But you know what? He's doing perfect. Absolutely perfect. And this actually looks like it was planted that way. But he's going against them here, and he's chewing them all up perfectly. This is excellent. Well, there's the end of the field. Woo! Well, and then the other one down there. But oh, look at the water out there. I didn't even notice that. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Container ships and everything. So we've got uh, another plow. But uh, just before I... Okay, let's do uh, a 
bit of house cleaning here. Uh, stuff we don't need. So I think I'm going to sell that guy. I'm going to sell that little trailer. Sell that header. Sell that header we never used. Um, we might as well sell that guy because we're going to need way bigger machines than that. Um, might as well sell that guy. And uh, probably not going to need a stump grinder for a while, so there's no point in having it and costing us money. Um, that's too bad we can't move things. Uh, if we could move it, that would be nice. Um, don't think they're costing us anything. Might as well get rid of that thing. We just put in today. <laughs> but we can re put that in if we need to. Um, there's some money here, too. If we need uh, to sell the farmhouse, we could all sell that. All these sheds and stuff, there's money sitting there. So. Okay, we got 235 grand. Look, he's on his way back already. Sweet! Except all this stuff I bet you is in his way. So let's move some stuff backwards here. Okay, I might have to go get rid of these dually tires. They're really cool, but they seem to be getting caught on everything. Well, we got this guy going. We'll go uh, see if, about this uh, lime stuff over here. Wow, there's like ditches there or something. Holy oh, jeez. Uh, see if this is where we fill up lime. He's got a lot of work ahead of him, though, but uh, boy, that plow sure shouldn't take long. Kind of thinking I might sell this little tractor, too. It's just a little bit too small. It's like the brakes on or something. It's no emergency brakes on these, is there? Oh, well, there's when you do that. Okay, so I got a problem here. I'm going to have to uh, just dump that fertilizer out. Okay. So let's see. This is supposed to be where the filler station is. Oh, there we go. That'll be handy then. take a while. Um, now, if we look in this here, growth, soil composition, fertilized. That's cool! It actually does it in this game now. So, because of this is a crop in here, you can actually plant, like, a crop of some sort, corn, maybe not corn, but like what we got here, sugar beet, I think it is, or uh, whatever that's called now, and this, and it actually fertilizes it when you plow it in. So that's cool. We've got this fertilized now. And technically that's exactly what should happen. And it sure does. So that's good. Okay, I am going to try to get myself back down to the store. Is this the best way to go? Um, nope, it's not the best way to go. We need to actually, whoop, actually go just down this road. So that's pretty handy too. 
Okay, I don't know why they set us up on that crappy farm we started in, because it's way better up here. Like, way better up here. Way better. And the store should be just down here at the end of this, the end of this hill. Uh, we're going to look for another little bit of a plow. Let's see if we can help this guy out here. Door should be straight there. Isn't that perfect? Over a set of tracks. Bang, bang. Away we go. That's pretty good. Okay, let's look for a plow. Now, first of all, we need to look at what horsepower again this John Deere is. 300 horse. Uh, okay, so plow something... Actually, power harrows. How wide are these things? Four meters. God, that would take forever. I would like to see one of those go sometime, but for the scale we're getting in ourselves into here, we're going to need something a little bit beefier. Um, should actually probably get ourselves a bit of a cultivator, too. Something... Um, 220 horse, 400 horse, what, for this thing? No. Why would that thing be 400 horse? It only folds out two wings. That doesn't make sense. Here's what I'm talking about. Oh, there's what I'm talking about. Five, 500 horse, 500 horse, 500 horse, 400 horse. Um, what was this thing? This thing is 550 horse. So it would pull that, but I think I want to just get a plow to help with, but... Because, um, yeah, I'll get another plow, I think. So, oh man, my memory is shot. 300 horse. Okay. So something in around the 300 horse mark. 360. I think we'll go with this guy. It's only 4.9 meters. Well, that doesn't seem very wide. Um, okay. I guess that's not too bad. It's pretty good for this thing. All right, let's get up the back up the hill here, and we'll give uh, old Fred there uh, a little bit of a helping hand. Something's blocked by something up there. So it's not too far for fertilizer and seed if we still buy it there, unless we put that machine in. Well, I'm not too sure about that seed one. I don't know whether I like that idea yet. Okay, so what is he blocked by? Well, let's get this guy going over here first. Start with a decent overlap. Actually... There isn't much. Uh, pretty much start up here by the looks of things. Okay. Let's move this out of the way for him. Sorry there, bud. I don't know why these cars are stopped here. It's kind of weird. Oh, now this trailer's in your way, isn't it? Okay, let me go move that for you. He actually could probably turn there, but I'll go help him out here. There you go, bud. Park this over here on out of the way.
Holy jumping, that thing is not very wide. What is going on with that plow? It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bottoms on it, but it's only plowing it like three wide. That seems kind of fishy to me. I kind of wonder when it said it was only 4.9 4 meters wide. Maybe we should have got a disc harrow. It's kind of a cultivator, basically. I don't know why they really have two. 4.9, then 6, and then this one's 10. That just seems awful narrow for that many plows. That's weird. So that one's still growing, actually. You know that? That's crazy. I don't know if I uh, plow that in now, if it'll actually still, you know, be... Uh, fertilized kind of thing. Oh, what is going on here? Dude! Don't believe that you need to pull in the field like 150 feet to drop the plow in. Pretty sure the other guy did it fine, but... That, that was kind of weird. Oh, he's having some problems or something. There we go. Yeah, that's a little better now. I feel a little, a little better now. It looks a little wider. It must have been just the way I had them started there. That's one, two, three, and now we're getting one, two, three, four, five wide. So that's a little better. Okay. I'm a little happier with that now. I want to see what this guy does. He did it fine. He did it fine, so... Alright, well, I'm going to maybe take a little break for a moment. Um, I'll let these guys uh, work at this. It's not going to take them long. Look what she's done already. Holy crap. This is the big machine. Although we could go with a bigger tractor yet. Could go with a little bit bigger tractor with this thing and make it go a little faster-ish, maybe, or something, but uh, for now. Um, okay, so just before I potentially go for a little break here, uh, we should see what we want to plant for next week. Get that kind of started up. Uh, I think I want to do canola. Something telling me. Canola seems to pay pretty good, although soybeans really good right now. But I think we get a heck of a lot more canola for our bang for our buck, right? So, so we're going to need some seed. We're actually on canola still, I think. I keep forgetting. Yeah, the cotton balls on the tree. Just that the pictures don't look right. They had much better pictures before, but anyways, they look more cartoony pictures. Now. So, um, hopefully, we don't need to actually fertilize again here to at least save us that. But we're gonna need seed. Unfortunately, the seed's not too far away. All right. That'll take this guy a wee while. Yeah, that's going to take him a while to plant this up. We, we need the big guy on this one, unfortunately. 
We need that John Deere over there. I don't think that John, or this tractor, I don't think would pull that plow. So, I mean, he's doing it. That's not too bad. 10, 11, that's not too bad, but that's something we're going to have to upgrade soon, I think. All right, we got a, a whole feller full of this stuff, so that's good. Even though we don't really need to lime right now, it's probably going to be the next couple of harvests that'll want a liming. It usually tells you, though, um, on the uh, map if it needs limed or not, but I'll just kind of leave this guy over here. Look at the, look at the, look at the production going on in that field. Isn't that awesome? Man, that's cool. There's nothing like that, you know. The production. Let's just park her here. We'll go up here and have a look. Can I jump up on the fence, do you think? Oh, geez, I fell in. Oh, I can jump on the fence, too. Sweet. The production in our field is just awesome. But anyways, I'm going to take a break for a minute, and uh, when we come back, we'll see how they're making out. Alright, he's got a little further. Um, where's everybody else? He's over there. He's over there. That's pretty good. They might be uh, soon button heads here, but we got a little bit of time yet. I just plowed through birds. That's kind of cool. So, wow, Buddy's done a lot compared to Buddy there. <laughs> Oh, well, he'll help, I guess, but, uh, um, okay, I guess we probably should I'll switch the other guy here, just ride with him for a moment, and I want to see what happens if we put him in the other field, if it starts to fertilize it or not. If it does, well, we'll just maybe keep him going there. If it doesn't, then we'll have to, uh, Fast up, fast forward time there to uh, get it to full growth here, I guess, and then that's what we plow in to fertilize. Alrighty. Let's just let him go ahead, 50 or so odd feet here. We'll see uh, what it's going to tell us. Um, soil composition. Needs lime. Okay, well that one needs lime apparently, so there's really... Now, interestingly, I wonder what happens if we grow this um, fully here. I'm just going to grow her up here fast, hopefully. I've got to go through nighttime, I guess. But um, if we grow it and um, then plow it, I wonder if it still says it needs lime or what. So, I'll just take another break for a moment and let that finish up. We'll be right back again. Okay, she's dark, but we're going to give this a shot here. I think... Uh, I think regardless, it's going to tell us we need lime. I think regardless, it's going to tell us it needs lime. Okay, so we're going to have to... Uh, We'll plow this up, I guess, and then lime it up. It's very dark out here. Oh, that's good. Someone's turning the lights on. Oh, you know what? I did have that the right way. Darn it. My bad. It's interesting how this is growing here. He seems to be tracking it right, though, which is a good thing. Alright, so 
We'll just wait till she gets a little brighter. Whoa, there she comes all of a sudden. And that stuff's going to be ready to go over there soon, but I'm going to turn off the time. Uh, about 7 a.m. here. Maybe a little bit after 7. We're still doing good. Uh, so there's, there's actually two-stage fertilization here as well, which I thought was interesting. If we go to here, you can see the fertilized and the fertilized. So fertilize what we've plowed, and then this is what he's planted as well. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know where that guy's going. I guess he's... Oh, that tree's going to give us a problem there, I bet. We might have to get rid of him. Okay, I'm going to turn that time down. We're, uh, we're almost done for today. I just want to get those guys to uh, clean this field off and uh, we can get some lime going when he gets ahead a little bit here. Why is that guy being a knob? I guess he'll figure it at the other end. Um, okay, so we can get this guy down in that general, oh, hit the sign, in that general area here. Well, I don't think that this is going to be a very good tractor for doing this. We're going to have to put something a little bigger on this. Hmm. Which means we're probably going to have to wait until the plowing's done or let them get ahead a little bit there and then take the John Deere off, maybe. This thing is just... I'm going to just sell that right now. I, that thing is just so useless. Uh, get out of here. Good riddance. <laughs> He's having problems, so we're gonna help him out a little bit here. should clean up the rest of that. <clears throat> I'm hoping. Not the cultivator will get him. A little bit of a hill here too. That'll be fighting uphill a little bit. That's interesting. Um, now, I wonder if I've got enough green on me right now to replace that tractor. That is a 6250R. Sixty-one thirty. Uh, hundred sixty-four. It's a bit small, I think. Don't think I've got enough. Anyways, balance. No, I don't. Just close, but not quite. So we'll have to wait until someone else is done here. Probably got to wait until they, uh, I guess you're supposed to really plow in the lime, but we can probably just run our sewing machine over it and finish it up that way. Stopping to watch the tractor there, bud. That's nice of you. See how well I turn that tractor around? I don't know why he does the huge Walmart parking lot thing. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Anyways. Okay, we'll let him continue to go there. And uh, let uh, these guys finish up. 
And we'll sp spread some lime on it today and get that going. This guy's going to be a few minutes, so I'm going to take another little break. Might as well. And uh, we'll be right back. Well, all right. We got this field all planted, and he didn't run out. G darn close on uh, fertilizer, but uh, he did pretty good. We still got a fair bit of seed left, surprisingly, but uh, we'll have to run down and refill. Um, we could, I guess, put the fertilizer here, but we still need seed. That would save us a little bit, though, wouldn't it? Put fertilizer station down here. Um, okay, now I gotta figure out. Where are we gonna put this thing? That's not gonna be in the way. That's going to be it right there. Boom! I like that. That's cool. All right. So we got to uh, we'll fill this guy up, I guess. We will need seed, I do imagine, but... Uh oh, he's not filling in there. Um, I should see... Oh, that fills up fast. I like that. These guys are doing good. Buddy missed one little strip over there for some weird reason, but... And this fella, I think I'm going to shut him down. Uh, I don't know why I can't remember. Uh... Oh, actually that'll be good there. Look at this. is half already done here. Because I sped up time and kind of messed things up a little bit, but... Anyways, that's all right. Okay, so we're going to go spread some lime on this field, and Buddy will finish up the rest of that plowing pretty quick, I think. Got to spread the wings. This was, I think, the biggest one I could get. Um... Now, where did I get that from? Should be in here. Um, crop protection. Wasn't it that, was it? Oh, this is the herbicides and stuff. I haven't seen any weeds actually grow yet. I don't know if I got them turned on or not. Probably sh should. Uh, let's just double check that. Plant growth fast. Plant everything off. Crop destruction off. Periodic plowing on. Lime required on. Weeds on. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, sorry. I know what I was going to look up here. Um, fertilizing technology. Uh, no. Oh, what the heck was that under now? Urgh, can't remember. Okay, trailers, corn headers, beet, plow, planters, manure spreaders, mowers, auger wagons, forest, sugar cane, cultivators, subsoilers, crop protection, slurry tedders, wind rollers, weeders. Weeders can pull small growing weeds between crop and pruning field state can only be used the first growing stages of crops. Oh man. Whoop. Um, disc harrows, cotton, potato, chainsaw, bailing, loading wagons, forest recruitment animals, animals, front loaders, levelers, telehandlers, huh. Under miscellaneous, no. Crop protection. Well, I know I bought one. Forestry cotton. Huh. 
Give me a sec, I'll find it here. Hang on. I think it was in the right spot. It's just basically a big fertilizer spreader, and you can add these wings to it. Spreading discs are the big wings, yeah, so... Um, okay. Alright. That's the biggest one, so I hope Buddy's just finishing. That's good. There we go, that's a little better. So I'm going to let him do that too. That's going to take a wee bit of time. And why is he having issues? Oh boy, we can't be doing that. So we'll, we'll finish this off for him here. Too bad while Buddy's spreading the lime. Can't really tell from over here, but he's spreading the lime. So we'll get weeds, I presume, on the first first growth cycle. Like it said. So that'll be kind of interesting. And uh, I guess you'll lose a bit of yield if you don't look after your weeds and spray spray the weed killer or the weeder, go over it with a weeder or something. That's probably a cheaper way to do it. Go over with a weeder. Be nice if I could just lift that back section there. I don't think I can. It's all done in one. Because I don't really need to plow this back spot, right? There's definitely room to expand a little bit there, but I think we're just going to leave this field alone. What I might do, uh, let's just get this over in line here again. What I might do, let's look at a map here, is uh, eventually buy 13 and uh, plow this out here. And probably just leave this as open, that big... Well, you can't use that anyways because it's a, it's a big hill there, I guess. This, uh, this is all a big hill here with a tower. It looks like just about here somewhere, so that kind of makes sense. Ooh, that's making this plow work going uphill. Now that lime is going to need filled up again pretty soon. That stuff uh, goes through pretty darn quick. All right, I think we have plowed the field. Excellent. While that thing's folding up, we'll just uh, go over here and look at this other field for potentially buying someday. And uh, I probably should plow that spot open there, that little road, and make this one big long field. We certainly could right now as we've got big plow on so yeah we couldn't run this field down too much further but we could join those to those and then uh, yeah whoa mama Slunker down there, bud. Are we creating fields? Yes. We're going to end up plowing into this a little bit here. Well, that's all right.
Well, there's the lime. Oh man, I hate that uh, low res, high res kind of area. plow that in but that's a shame it's not like it's that much so he has ran out of line we better get him refilled again so we didn't get quite half a field done there but that's all right that's all right the lime's fairly close here, which is super nice, so. And, uh, yeah, we should get the guy uh, planting here again, but uh, I want to get this lime looked after here first. And uh, then we can work on that after. I think I should go take these tires off. Really need two tires in the back. It looks kind of cool, but it's a neat little valley there. Huh. Someone blew something up there and it exploded. All right, I'll be a moment filling. So we'll continue with our plow adventure here. So I guess that is, well, no, that Right here is the first growth stage, I guessed. First, uh, second, third, and then finished. Interesting. It really gets chunky for me when I walk through here. So much trying to animate, I guess. But, anyways. Alright, so he's full. Once again, we'll take him down and get him going again. He's probably going to need another fill again after this fill. I imagine he's going to get it all done. How's that lime taste there, birds? Crazy birds. It was pretty slow, too, but that's not bad, I guess. Okay, let's keep plowing here. Won't take us long to get this done. And I'll have to make sure Buddy doesn't come through here, because this other side I don't think needs limed yet. And what happens if you don't lime it? Just don't get the same crops, I guess. Or the same yield out of the crops. I'm 
turn around here and then we'll keep going. That's cool, it actually dips down into the furrow there. <laughs> That's neat. Let's see if we can catch him when he comes back out here. Boink, boink. Boink. <laughs> That's pretty neat. All right, we should have one more bit of a swipe left there, and then uh, that's looking pretty good for plowing. It's a big field on its own now. Wow, we goes right down a hill and everything. It's pretty darn cool. I don't know how often we're going to have to lime, though. Um, like I said, every five crops? I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. All right, that is one fantastic plow. I must say. Now that lime is coming back up. Oh, we got a few minutes. We can drive this up and park it. So here, we kind of don't really have, it's really open. We don't really have an area to um, put our farm unless I, you know, buy like this field here and then kind of, I don't know, kind of put a corner of it just for the buildings or whatever have you. Seems like we need a lot of turn room down here, so... All right, how's the lineman going? We need to stop him up here. I th think he'll keep going because he probably won't... No, the cow's almost empty already. He probably won't know to stop, but that'll be a good, interesting little test here. If we can make it that far. We should be able to make it that far. But, geez, we're going to need some more lime soon here <laughs> already. I need a lime truck. I wonder if I can load it into a truck and then... Hey. Can we... I wonder... Or does it have to be a fertilizer spreader? Yeah, so he has no clue that this doesn't need lime here. Okay, so... No sweat, but we are going to need more lime to finish that up. And I think now I could bring down... Um, oh, we have to get more seed. Yes, we need more seed. We can do that after we get the lime going here again. Man, this field here is huge. I don't think I don't think I actually would ever want to tackle that myself unless I had about four combines maybe for it. Okay, so while he's doing that. got fertilizer. Now we need to go down and get seed. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm mistaken. We were going to try to see how much further we could go with uh, 1112 seed left in it. That's right. So let's get him down here and start him planting. And uh, get this going. We'll get this going for next week, I think. We're not going to harvest today. We're pushing the time limit now, I think. So 
I don't want to keep you all guys all day on a Saturday, you know. And I sure do appreciate you watching it, but uh, Farm Sim Saturday, but I don't want to keep you all day, you know. Marathon six hour Farm Sim. Can you imagine? Holy cow. I don't know how big that would be. I did those uh, four hour ones and it was 20, 28 gigabyte to download or to upload that, so. That was after it was rendered. That was a lot. That was a lot. Holy cow, that was a big file. I don't remember how much the raw files were, like the, you know, recorded files, but. Okay, let's get the lime going back. Yeah, I wonder if I could load lime into a truck and then load from the truck. That would be pretty handy if I I don't think you could though. I don't think I could load lime. I'm going to super super try that though. I am going to try that. I'm going to get my transport truck and take it over there and see if it'll load lime into it. It might. So what I'm going to do is... Ah! Do a swipe here so he knows. Well, there'll be lots of lime in that spot. He knows that that spot's good. Stop at that spot there, bud. Alright, well that's good, that's good. Okay, a truck, a truck, a truck. I want to run this over here and see if I can load lime into it. That is a really bad ditch there. I kind of doubt this is going to work. I totally just jackknifed all the there and took that sign out. Yep, I did. <laughs> Oh well. I doubt this will work. No. No, can't put lime in there. Okay. Now, can we put lime... Oh, wrong screen. Can we put lime in any of the tr tippers? Because that would definitely help. I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Oh, you can, too, on that one. Okay. But not that one. Figures. But we can in that one. <laughs> oh, man. 59,000. Well... We'll have to buy ourselves one of these, I guess. I don't think it really matters what tires are on it. That would definitely help because I could get the lime just a little bit closer. All right, so we'll go back. this guy. I like this trailer a lot, but now it doesn't have lime in it. I can't put lime in it. That's that's a bit crappy, but that's alright. We can use that other trailer. Put some lime in that one. I think I'm going to leave this part kind of midway here anyways. Okay, let's go grab that other trailer. Buddy's making out pretty good seed in there. Looks like he's spinning uphill there. Is he stuck? No, he's good. Okay. Let's go grab that other trailer. We'll fill that with lime. 
That'd be a lot of lime, actually. 59,000. Woo! I wonder if I could hook two of those trailers together. Mm, now we're thinking. Helper G has completed his task. Was that the line? No. Can't be done yet. Maybe it is. Now, you know what would be really neat? And I don't know if it, it does exist in Farm Sim, but if you could... Say I harvested um, canola. I want to plant canola again. I didn't sell my canola yet. I could use a canola that... Um, can I hook two of these together? No, I don't think so. Uh, I could use a canola that I harvested to replant again instead of having to buy seed. I doubt, highly doubt that is something in Farm Sim. That's part of Farm Sim, which technically it kind of should be you would think anyways, but... So 59,000 lime. Be a lot of lime, although you know what? We're not going to need lime probably right away, so... I think I'm just going to leave that trailer sitting over at the lime yard there for a wee while, because I don't think we're going to need it for quite a wee bit. Keep an eye on our field, though, and see uh, what it's looking like. right now I really don't want to put the money out for the lime so I'll just leave him right there all right should be a road here too bad there isn't oh well, I guess he is doing, done his liming him. Alright, that guy can sit there. Oh, this is tough on the hill for him. I think we better switch tractors. Still got 5,000 left in lime, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty tough on that hill for him. This tractor might not even be big enough. I don't. I don't know. I'll put all those guys away later. Holy cow! Thousand ninety-nine wage payment. My goodness. Guys are expensive. Okay, what's he doing here? He's doing. Well, before I jumped in, he's doing five up the hill. That's pretty sad. Ooh. Okay. That tractor sits a little small, I think, for pulling that uh, that guy up. I really like growth, fertilized, 100%, weed zero. That's really neat how they show that. One of the really good features I really like about that. The new farm sim here. Okay, so he was doing about five. What's this guy? What's this guy capable of here? Nine, ten. Oh yeah, that's way better. You better, bud. You better, bud. Fantastic. All right. We'll go and take that uh, limer back up. I guess uh, we could probably probably park it. Yeah, we'll park it up there somewhere. And I'm um, curious to see how much further I should have looked. I didn't look that close, but I'm curious to see how much further he's going to go on that seed. So 
so there we go. This would actually be a good little spot to start a farm right in there, but... I don't know. We get extra room on some of these plots of land, but... Um, some places just aren't good for setting that up. there. I can actually leave these parked over here just on this ridge. Okay, and that's good. Uh, this guy's still working. We've still got a lot of seed left, but I might just take a little break. We're definitely not going to get it all done. I'm going to take a little break for a moment here and... Uh, See how much further he can get here. I'm quite surprised how far it's gone. Doesn't seem to be using up a whole lot of seed, but that's a good thing, I guess. So, um, I'm predicting that we'll be uh, probably cut this what we got left in half, and that'll be it. So, might be surprised though. Who knows? Anyways, uh, whenever he's empty, we'll come on back. We'll see, uh, I'll have to probably go buy some more. Well, I can't believe it. It's actually worked out perfect. Look at that last swath here. It's absolutely perfect. Get any better than that. And we had enough seed. We're almost out of fertilizer again, but look at our seed. 271 still left. It's actually pretty good. We did this whole field. And it wasn't even full. Now, mind you, it took a long, long time, but... Uh, do have it done so there we go um, I just want to look between the fields here and see why that's a different color um, that's kind of funny how the jaggedies soil composition needs lime in the middle there Oh, I forgot about that one. Oh, well, we'll just have to leave. Well, no, we should probably do that. Um, okay. Well, that worked out pretty good. We'll go grab our lime. That, uh, that stuff that we uh, plowed there, I guess he should have limed it. Which means he probably would have limed that and then turned around if he found out that the other stuff was already limed. But that's alright, no problem. Okay, that's going to leave that guy there. We should be good Ooh, next week anyways for our, for our planting. Um, I guess I could just use that tractor for the liming. Uh, okay. And that is going to be a busy harvest week for next week uh, to do all that. So, uh, one, mm, I might even just possibly potentially lease um, another machine to help us with that for next week because it's going to be uh, a lot of work, I think. So we'll lime it all up. Uh, yeah, it's liming it. That's good. See, it only really seems to put it... It's not putting it out over here at all. That's kind of weird. I 
It's like it knows where it wants to go. So it needs some over here too. And I'm not going to run the planter over there again. That's, that's just going to have to be the way it is. That's yeah, getting her. Okay, well, I guess that is it for this week for Farm Sim Saturday. I thank you again for watching. We'll uh, catch you next week. We'll have this all grown, ready to go. And uh, we're going to start harvesting. Uh, I wouldn't mind looking, um, see how much it's going to cost me to lease another machine for helping harvest next week. Oh, wow, this is really rocky, <laughs> crappy stuff here. Oh, my goodness. Wow, we can't quite see it, but it must be quite a bunch of ridges and rocks or something there. But, uh, yeah, so anyways... I'll just park this back down here again. There goes the train. Hello, train. All right. Good, good. I'll unhook that. Get him ready over here. I kind of want to get the same machine, and eventually we'll buy ourselves another one. Um, Prob probably not going to be another John Deere when we buy another one, but you never know. Um, okay, so let's see here. Um, oh, harvesters. Oh, that's the one we own. That's the biggest John Deere. Um... Seventeen one. No, sorry, fourteen one and seventeen one. So it's not that much bigger. Uh, okay, so lease cost is thirty two thousand for that. All right, or four hundred grand to buy it. Blew. So thirty-two thousand for the lease. Boy, that's that's going to eat into our eat into our profits a heck of a lot. I think it was no nope. that one we have. So thirty-two thousand, and then uh, another seven. So, but just over forty thousand dollars, just to lease that to help us out. Well, I don't know whether I want to do that or not. Um, forty grand—that's actually not too bad. When we're going to be doing a lot of canola here, okay? So maybe we'll do that for next week. But uh, yes, any time. Or sorry, <laughs> uh, that's it for this week. Uh, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all next week, and uh, big harvest coming up. Oh my goodness! And uh, yeah, I want to, I want to get this field next door here too eventually, and then plow all this in. Probably square it right off there, I think. But we'll plow all that in. I don't need a road there, so it looks like this is all hill here too, maybe. Um, so that'll that'll be quite a bit of land there. Yeah, we get this whole thing here, but this is all hill. It's kind of useless to us for that, but. I guess we could maybe put a farm down here. Let's just uh, clip over there and have a look at that for... Or I guess we could put our farm buildings right up here. That would work too, right by this tower. Barns and stuff, right, would go perfect right up here. Lots of room. I was kind of thinking, you know, down here, but it's all kind of downhill right to the... Yeah, that wouldn't work there, so... So probably to this edge here, yeah, we'll build our farm right here. That'd be perfect. Nice view and everything. That'll work. Once we buy this uh, field, that is. We have to buy this field first, though. So. But, uh, yeah, I want to look at this pretty ridgy over here. 
pretty ridgy. Ooh, what is this little building? Wind generator or something. Huh. Water, maybe? Is that water? Does the map show anything? That doesn't show anything there. No, it's just a static thing, I guess. That. Sweet. That's a neat little wind turbine y thing there. It catches it and spins it, I guess. Interesting. But, anyways, yeah, this is quite a ridge here. Definitely uh, won't wanna, wouldn't want to go off of here too fast. Although, that'd be neat to launch <laughs> something off of there real fast. Crash down there. I would love to do it to this truck here, but I don't want to wreck the truck. So. so, it'd be interesting how they would treat this field. I guess they would just do it. They did the other one fine, so. As in tracking the field straight. Alright, we'll take this guy back down and uh, get him up back up to the trailer, and then uh, that'll be it. Uh oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, not too bad. Just crashed through it all. Don't know whether I was too impressed with that plow, though, really. I guess it worked, but from the size of it, you think it would carve a bigger area, but it just didn't seem to do that, so. Alright, that is it for today. Thanks again for watching. I think maybe next week I'm going to try playing in the 1080p, and it'll be a little bit smoother than it is today. There we go. Catch you all next time. And uh, big harvest next week. And uh, should be awesome. See how much money we make out of, out of that. So hopefully the price is good. Uh, but anyways, catch it all then. Thanks again for watching. You guys have yourselves a good week.